thanks guys for uh coming joining in on this uh you ain't nothing but a hound dog uh monday night <laughs> painting class uh this we're gonna be painting this dog here this is a how real hound dog right this uh came from here came from marcia our who's attendee today she photographed this one um yeah, I really like this one because I, I just love the, the lighting on it, the intense lighting and the dark shadows behind there and how, how the dog pops out of there. I'll probably have to pull it up here in a second and we'll talk about it a little bit more. But um, she got this, you know, you, you were in a fox hunt, right? You were taking pictures of Blessing a real of the fox house. hunt. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's like a, a real... Real hunt. Go ahead and tell them which how you shot it, uh, Marsha, and I will. Uh, how see I, if shot? I can pull it up here. <laughs> Marsha, Marsha. Swanee, Swanee. Um, how I shot it. I just loaded yeah, the camera. Yeah, where'd you shoot it? From I the hip, a... sir. <laughs> From the <laughs> hip. Okay, hold on. I gotta have to go out and uh, download this photo. I thought I had it down here. I gotta pull it one second here. Where am I? One second, I can pull it up. There it comes. Okay. Here we are. We're back. Sorry. I usually have this done, but it always happens every whenever thinking about it. Okay. Okay. Whatever happened to your plein air painting, Jim? <laughs> it it just stayed there. I did not change that painting. I had the uh, yeah right at the we were paint, plein air painting yesterday, and uh, I was teaching it, and I um, I, sh I I had a really good lesson about uh, when you put your you finish a painting and where you put it down and where you put your and, and where you put your palette down don't put them right next to each other because if the wind comes popping up your painting will flip over right on your paint your wet paint <laughs> and uh it doesn't really come out well we must have distracted so, you it was our fault no 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 <laughs> no i put it there i had plenty of time i wasn't distracted i was just didn't think about any wind coming up. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> yeah, hey, we Jim. needed the rain. We, anyway, okay, this is Marcia's shot again. Beautiful little shot. Okay, only little problems I see in it is probably clarification right in here. You know, trying to get that uh, the nose and think there's it's really quite busy right there. Uh, so what I would suggest is making sure that when you put in, get in this area here, maybe you connect a few of these highlights here, maybe all these, these highlights and just make a run like this. Uh, so we got, yeah, I think my dogs agree. Um, so that's what I would do. That would really help uh, put, put a space out there a little bit. So if we just put it, change the highlight around a, a little bit, maybe not make these two, too uh too sharp and too skinny maybe we just and we don't have to put in all of them because we've got a lot of little ones showing through here maybe if we soften those up and make a couple bigger ones you know like this and this and usually just right enough down in here it's just to get that 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 lip to pop uh that's all we got to do we got all the colors and everything else there and then just uh you know soften everything else I think that will work out really well on uh, getting that area to work. Yeah. Two collars on this dog. Two collars plus a radio controlled uh, thing so they know exactly where he is. Um, we don't have to put that in. You could do one collar if you want. Uh, you don't even have to do any collars if you don't want to. That, well, you know, well, that's what that is. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I just was wondering why you had two colors on. Now I get it. Okay. Yeah, one of them is battery packed and has a has a uh, 
a, a signal thing on it so they really know where he is. So, because when they're chasing these these foxes around, you can um, see the wire. Yeah, you can see the wire. So the they're all wired up. Yep. And stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, I just really liked really liked the strong lighting on this. Um, oops. Where is my thing? There it is. I just really liked the shoulder lighting and how he is foot was i thought that was that was a really nice posy hit um just a little bit of a leaf going over him is nice it kind of just draws him back in a little bit but he's still coming out um hip place you know good hip tails good you know um you know you know i just like it because it's just that you get you know you got all these beautiful darts going back in here you know, all these beautiful darks in behind him, pushing him out. And then you just got a few pieces of uh, bushes coming through and popping things out. I would just say, yeah, we can use those, those kind of little things of uh, bushes and things to help define his shape a little bit. Not, don't put one there. That's not, not a good place to put one. But you know, if you had one back in here, just to find the, the edge of the back or, you know, like I was talking about here in the face, maybe this light one here comes up just a little bit more and uh, you can get that, that, you know, shape his mouth easy, you know, so it's real natural feel of, uh, you know, uh, of lights and darks. Um, mm -hmm. uh, good spots his spots are good okay you know the only you know you know okay it's a male dog all right but if you don't put anything in there like you know you don't get you know put you know just you know it won't be noticeable it will it will start you know we'll stay right here this is where we want to go so uh even though it points that way uh we don't we don't have to put anything in there uh Okay. Yeah, girl. So, what you can make it a girl? <laughs> We're gonna neuter this guy right here. <laughs> well, no, I think it, you wouldn't see that. You just see a little bit of pink if it was a girl. Pink inside of the leg. Okay, that's good. That that's fine. So, so that's good. I really like the the even the the color of the grass here. That just the 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 that uh, kind of. Uh, Pack or hand kind of color, just it's really nice. So I'm gonna we'll be working on that a lot, trying to get that one together, and then get just those browns in his face too. I think they're gonna be really nice to good placements. You know, really getting trying. I think you know if we can get that eye to work a little bit better too for us, um, it will be we'll be in really good shape with this one. You know, Marsha gave us three quarters of it. We got to bring it home, though. Okay. Uh, design wise, yeah, he's sort of you know equal on on sides here. Not too bad. I mean, if you if you could give him just a little more room this way, that'd be great. <clears throat> I just I just don't do a whole lot of total design work. Uh, I want to give you the full image to work with and then, you know, see what you come up with. But, you know, design wise. Yeah. I like, I like where this is going I like that angle. I like, you know, the angle of the dog really nice. Love this little, uh, you know, his paw and stuff. One thing to tell about, you know, to get this uh, paw in thing in the, in the right, um, uh, right right perspective right drawing and stuff of it think of this as a, as a clock you know if this was in a clock you know what you know what time that would be and if that was going straight up you know if that was a straight up and down that would be like a three o'clock so it's really like almost like a 45 degree angle that that uh that leg is and then coming down it's just not quite you know like a 430 time wise so look at 
<laughs> so look at it like that for his for you know getting that making sure you get this you know and that that looks really good together so that's really you know almost a three o'clock face on a you know the kind of clock old timey clocks ones with hands so okay that's what i was saying that's what i'm looking at so yeah if we can if you want to you know, cut down the back end a little bit and add add a little bit more here. That's easy to easy peasy to do. All right, colors. Um, yeah, we're gonna get let's get over to the palette and uh, any questions. Oh, I put you all on mute. That's why. Good. Okay, let's. We're gonna keep you guys on mute, and we're gonna go over to the palette and. See what we can do, some damage we can do. Okay, that's not bad. That's not a bad photo. Here, and we can pull it up again here. Okay, one second. There we go. I'll be using my monitor to get the correct colors because I think this, these are uh, these golds here. It's tell me I'm probably losing a little blue in my uh, uh, my printer and stuff. So, uh, okay, color wise is what I have out. I have uh, just uh, titanium white, cad yellow light. Cad red light. I do have some cad medium out, but that was left over from another painting. Uh, if I use it, I'll let you know. I might use it because some of these uh, darks in here can be, you know, have a nice, they need sometimes a warmer, just a slightly warmer purple than uh, the lizard and crimson. This is a uh, cad orange. Uh, this is yellow ochre. This is back yellow ochre light. I it's didn't fun. know I was getting uh, light when I. I grabbed it, but it's light. Is that a yellow ochre? Um, this is oxide red light. It's a lot of lights. Everything's really light. Uh, alizarin crimson, or if you are Rembrandt like I am, this is uh, rose matter deep. This is uh, cobalt blue hue by Utrecht. Phthalo green blue. Uh, Venetian, I think this is Venetian, and I have burnt sienna out. I think I'm gonna probably tone mine with burnt sienna. That's why I was having that out. Um, again, brushes. I'll be using a lot of big brushes here. Uh, big brushes for for blocking it in, and then I'll be going to my smaller, uh, medium size uh, bristles and uh, synthetic uh, rosemaries uh, to finish it off. Also, I have a paint eraser, which always comes in handy. And uh, that is about it. All right, let's get some colors going. Let's, of course, these darks. Man, I want to get some nice ones here. Um, the green ones back there. Let's, get, let's go for the big ones back there, the green ones, and then we'll work to the cooler ones. There's only a few cooler <laughs> ones. And those cooler ones are going to be spot his spot. Yes? Somebody say something? No, I'm trying to get the palette down. <laughs> I'll catch up. Right. <laughs> okay. Ew. Oh, you mean you're getting my... Oh, I, you, I thought you put it up somewhere. You mean trying to put the colors out? Yeah. Oh, no worries. Take your time. This is out. You know, we got all day. <laughs> okay. Rocky. All right, we're gonna go with phthalo green out. We're gonna do our, some phthalo greens. A couple phthalo greens to put two out. One I'm gonna put, uh, I put three out. A lizard and crimson in, or rose matter. And we're gonna keep that kind of on the red side. And then just a little bit less in here and just keep this one 
on the green side. Halo green. Okay. And what? Yeah. One's on the red green and one's a, or purple green and one's just a regular more green. Oh, God. Hurry up. I... <laughs> She right, gives Taylor. up already. <laughs> Taylor Green and Alizarin. Okay. Both of these two. This is on the red side. This is on the green side. Okay. Next color. Why don't you get these warms in there? We got a lot of nice warms back in 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 the, those greens. So the next color, we'll have to have a little bit more uh, red in it, warmer red. So that's a cool red. Now we're going to go to a warmer red. We're going to go with phthalo green and um, just as oxide red. I'm going to leave a little more oxide red in this one and more phthalo green in that one. Oh, I thought that's what we did at first. Phthalo green and that's okay. The, then, then if that's what you did, uh, just mix up the alizarin crimson and uh, one because I'm going to use that cooler red down lower in the in the in the dark greens, and then uh, up here, farther up, I'll be using more of these anything with warmer reds in them. Like uh, the other green I was going to do probably is uh, just a cad red light. And phthalo green, just trying to get these really kind of warmer greens at the top. Okay. And I'm going to add a little more red to this one, too. This is just a little too on the green side. So I want to keep them a little bit warm. Okay, well, that's right there. Although that's right there is going to do pretty much everything we need back there. That's going to be taken care of uh, the bush and everything else coming forward. Basically, now we're, I'm just going to go uh, do the easy parts. Let's do the, uh, do the ground here. This ground, uh, I'm going to go with, uh, start off with burnt sienna and And just a little bit of blue. Which blue? Just uh, 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 cobalt blue hue. Okay. Blue hue. If you have that, if you don't, you know, regular, whatever blue you have. Shouldn't I? <laughs> Oops. Cobalt. If you don't have cobalt blue hue, you, if you have a, a ultramarine or ultramarine, uh, French ultramarine or uh, one of those, that will that'll work too. There's not a whole lot of blue in this one. But I just wanted to get out here and get a little bit of these browns in here. So getting these browns, they can work in the dog. But when I, um, I was looking for them to... Uh, if I take these two guys down really far, looking at that that ground, you know that ground's right up there around a, probably about a two or a three ish up here. That means a lot of white going into those colors. So it'd be like double the amount we have here. And I wanted to see if I could get um, that gr ground out of here really easily. At least the base tone for it and yeah that's that's it it's mostly on the burnt sienna burnt sienna blue side just a hair of blue, a little bit of blue in it and then a lot of white and that pretty much gets me right where i need to go i'm gonna go i'm adding a little bit i'm making this pile a little bit bigger than i it should be because I want to split this pile and, and get a couple of variations of color uh, so that, uh, you know, 
it doesn't look like we just painted with one color because we can get but because i want all the colors that are in this section in this bottom section to um you know be built off each other so they can go right next to each other and nothing jumps out at us so they just really play well together this one over here has more blue in it than um uh, This is uh, burnt sienna in blue, but this one has probably about even amount of blue. So you get this beautiful gray. You might be able to find spots in here and stuff, but not too many. But this color might really be nice in this dog. So might have to go on the blue side. Okay, I'm gonna take, take these other guys down a little bit too and see what happens. Uh, color wise, I think I can get a few more uh, colors here. So then I'm going to add uh, probably go to like value, probably right around a four or five ish with white. So it's a lot more, a little bit even amount of white and uh, probably dark. You know, I should get some blue grays here. And I figured this color here was going to be in this dog, a lot of this dog, these two colors here. This is especially this, that, that one because it's a, kind of on the red side. So purple, uh, purple, bluish color. This one I didn't think is quite as much, but I think I could figure some areas out for it. Looks just going to have a little bit too much. Oh, rats. Good though. We're going to go with that here. This is phthalo green. This is cad red. No, no uh, this is red oxide. Sorry, red oxide. And these greens might be able to get a few back in here. A few spots, not many. This is on the red side. Should be a very kind of a red gray when I'm done. Okay, that I think I can, you know, can be in, in the grass and this might end up being back in here in the trees, uh, limbs. That's what I'm looking for, little things of where I can, they might end up being at the end. That one just not much there. This one just a little bit. These are cad red and phthalo green. And okay, well, you know, it's a little, it went a little sweeter than I thought it would. All right, that means I got to make, I need to do the cad uh, yellow and cad red green. I mean, cad, cred, cad yellow and uh, green together, I guess, to get the, some of these brighter ones in here so but till then we'll get let's finish up here uh okay like i was saying this is going to be some of the 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 start of the grass colors this is just burnt sienna a little bit of blue and a lot of white and we brought it up to about a three i was going to take a piece maybe just two pieces Two pieces of it. Want to add just a little bit of uh, uh, cad orange to it. Just to get some orange play. And then the other one, I'll put some green in to get some of the green play in here. Oh, nice. Such a green into this one. Uh, oh, I know that was way too much. I already have green in it. I'm going to add some yellow to it. No, I don't. This is blue. I don't. Okay. It doesn't have. Okay. Never mind. I'm adding it anyway. So, okay. This color here is um, uh, basically a. Uh, this came from this burnt sienna 
and blue and white mix. Um, and I uh, took a piece of it I had brought over here. I added a little bit of phthalo green and then I added cad yellow to it. Um, this one I is just, uh, I added just a little cad uh, orange to it. So there you go. This green is, is really a lot of the le little individual leaves in here that is going to lay up, that it will lay up on top. So it's good to know that this color right here, what this color is, this is, again, burnt sienna, set her off with burnt sienna blue, and then white, then a uh, little phthalo green, and then cad yellow, and, and we got it. This color, I bet you, if we just took a, took a piece of it, and you hit it with another bunch of more cad yellow, double the amount of cad yellow, you're probably going to be really close to getting into our leafs areas and stuff. A lot of the leafs are going to be in this range from these two guys. Okay, Jim, I'm lost. What is that? I'm lost too. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I, was, I was making up the, the ground with this color here. This is burnt sienna in blue and white, but mostly in the burnt sienna side. Yeah. Uh, I split it into two piles. Uh, this one, I put a little bit of cat orange in. This one, I put phthalo green in, but uh, it, it turned it really cool. So I added just a little bit of cat yellow to it and got this color here, this color uh, green here. Uh, that green here is going to be end up being a lot of the a lot of these individual type of leaves going around here. You, it's going to you could take this and I was just took a piece of this, brought it down here, and had a bunch of cad yellow to it because of I wanted to see if if these other bright leaves had a better had a, had the same association and they do basically all i have to do is take this color and change it around a little bit here and there like maybe add more white to it for uh, some highlights to get some some different colors like i said mike and that will work this is definitely in there any of these colors here can work down in here too so there you go. All we got to do now is uh, uh, get some more dog colors. All right. Um, all these. So basically, all I did is I made these dark. All the darks. I cut them with white to about a four or five ish value here. And then. Uh, this color came out of it, and that was, I figured, that's really close to what I need for, uh, for the grass. So that's why I split that pile and did some things coming off of it, because I wanted to do a, make it fit in here. That green, it was just like on a happy, a happy accident, which I'll probably, uh, you know, need to, you know, if I use it in the grass, it's going to ha have to be a little toned down. What I'm doing now is just making a mid gray, gray, that gray one a little dark. So I'm just whitening it up and then whitening it, darkening it down, just trying to get the value a little bit better because I can use that with this, this color here too. Just trying to come up with a few other colors before we get into the dog. Okay, now the dog. I said I was looking at this color here really nice it's just phalo green and uh and and alizarin and that purple and seeing how that goes in here that's really nice it might be that that's really nice but it might be a little too dark and uh a few things so yeah but I'll, let's start with this i'm going to take a piece of this you guys have this one this is basically alizarin and phalo green on the on the lizard side, or this might be more almost feels more like right down the middle because of its 
really, that's a gray. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of white, more white to it. I want to take take it up a little of uh, one notch for this dog. Yeah, right in here. Okay. I might even take a little make up. I might take make a slightly bigger pile because there's a few things I want to do. And I think I can get it get pretty much everything out of this one pile. I can get this whole dog uh, some really nice value because I see some pinks in here. I see some blues in here. I see some yellows and I see some oranges uh, and stuff. And if they're all come off of this one color, which should be able to do it, you know, well, it'd be in really great shape. So I'm what I'm taking. I did make a big pile. So that's basically right there. Phalo green and uh, phalo green and the lizard. Um, plus white. Okay. What I need to do is take. Uh, so I got it to the right color. I just need to make one a little bit more red. I'm going to put a little more lizard in this one. So you're going to find this kind of color in its shoulders, in his shoulders and in his back, in his feet, and things coming up. Maybe not just this. I'll probably, since this is, you know, a cool um, gray, kind of a, be great to have a red one too, a warmer one, but we'll get there. This one. I'm going to add just a little cat orange to. Ooh, little cat orange to. Boy, don't listen to myself. Little cat orange. There you go. And I have some white to lighten it up again. Okay. That's going to be in the shoulders and areas like that. Probably need just a probably to lighten it up a little bit more. That orange, when it hit that blue, just kind of grayed out a little bit funky -er than I thought it would. Uh, let me try this one then. Just a little cad red into this one. This is this might be do okay. pretty much everything I need then. Yeah, that's a better. See, this is what I was talking about. That's the what I was the that's the color for this whole body in here. Does have a lot of this in there too, but this is really gonna okay. be in those legs. Okay, this one here. I'm gonna just steal some green over here from this pile and add it in. I just need a couple of green spots. A little bit more green than there we go. You just see it a little bit. And you can see that in the back shoulders and coming down and how it mixes. That's so those colors are working really good. I would say the only one I think is a little funky is this one. I thought I thought it would be a little bit more yellow. Maybe try maybe it was maybe it was because Maybe it's because I used the orange. So maybe a little more, uh, a little bit less strength like uh, ochre here will do, will get me in, into that area. So just a little bit more white to counteract that. Get it a little bit lighter. Still get the warmth through it. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Now you got the really high key look, things left, like the, like the shoulder, popping the shoulders and popping the leg here, and the highlights of the face. Most of those colors can come right from here. Uh, I'm also going to use this. Uh, 
This is just burnt sienna and blue, just from this pile up here. Just like I had here for the grass, but I just want it uh, in, in for this dog here and there too. As you can see, it just rounds, all, rounds off these things because these two purples here are just, uh, just a little close just because of uh, there's so much coolness in this gray kind of just, you know, knock the, knock the cad uh, a little, just a little cool. So I'm adding in, a, you know, so mm. this burnt sienna kind of almost works, works as good, kind of like a, what I need here too. All right. I'm getting to his, to his face. Uh, and we need these red browns and red uh, and oranges. You know, I'm going to be able to get a few of these darker colors from up here. I got some red browns and some orange greens and stuff I can put in, in here. One color I want to do for his eye and uh, uh, then do is, is, is just, just a little more brighter oranges here and there. Uh, so it would be brighter oranges. Just go with burnt sienna and cad, cad orange for one. Might need a little bit of white. Just a touch of white to lighten it. Trying to get it right into that thing. I'm really a lot more white, a lot more white than I... I'm going to take a piece of that because I don't want to I kind of like the richness of that little spot, so I can use it a little bit. There you go. That's now you can see see it's starting to hit. You can use a little bit of that. So that's just really a simple color, just cad cad orange and uh, burnt sienna with white, a little bit of white makes a great little color. That's going to be good for him, for his face. Uh, one of his things is his eye. Um, dark or, or his eye and these spots. I'm going to go with blue instead of uh, green on these a few things here. I'm going to go with a cad medium here, red and blue. And you can see that's a good, strong medium red. Just kind of took that blue and just took it and overwhelmed it so i'm gonna make one more make make sure i get blue to darken it up to where i want this would be great for the eyes this would be great for the eyes you know just those little dots this will also be really nice to start some of these spots in back here some of these purples i'm gonna try one more too i like that but I'm going to go I, my old uh, alizarin in blue for his back, back haunches here in some of those spots. And that'll do it. All right, I'm going to go, that'll do it for colors. That's enough. That's enough for this thing. It shouldn't need that many. If anything, these these greens here are going to be need to be mixed up a little bit. Maybe some reds and oranges uh, added into them just to get a few few little different leaf uh, things in case we get uh, starts getting a little uh, heavy and boring in that area. But uh, now it's uh, I think everything else is going to work out really well. Um, okay, so we start off here with a phalo green and a lizarin for rose matter. If you're have Rembrandt. We brought those guys down with just a little bit of white. And uh, this is one, the one I thought, I said, this is the color uh, for the dog. And that's why I brought it over here with a little bit more white. And I took that, took it and split it into five, five piles here. And this one, I put a little more alizarin in. This one, I put some cad orange in. Or, yeah, cad orange in this one I put a little more phalo green in this I put cad red in um, this I put some ochre in white and ochre 
this one just came down. That was just burnt sienna blue on the burnt sienna side with white just to match up their same value as all everything else. So they can all work together in this in the dog. Even these oranges here I made up. These are, again, burnt sienna and cad orange with white. Um, those are going to be working into the face a little bit and uh, maybe into reflections into his chest and paw. That would be nice, too. Other darks I made up here were, again, uh, phthalo green and uh, oxide red uh, light. You bring those down. You can see really see how green comes out. And then you see this one really had to push the red, and you get kind of a blue, nice gray out of it. This is a cad red light and phthalo green coming down um, with white. Um, definitely, these guys are going to be. I can use them in here when we do the when we do the ground. A lot of that ground might get take get done really quickly for us. That's why I'm hoping to. You know, we're going to be able to save a lot of time and this ground will be able to take care of itself pretty quickly, resolve itself. Here we have uh, a nice, really nice, great color, an old timey classic of burnt sienna and blue. This is on the burnt sienna side. It's almost like a burnt umber when it comes down to it. And then this is with um, more on the blue side. And uh, now it has a little white in it, which wasn't supposed to. But. It did. I must have had just enough on my knife to make a difference. But that definitely, you're going to want this color. See how rich that is? That's definitely going to be in some of these spots. So, burn umber, phthalo, burn umber, and our burnt sienna, sorry, burnt sienna and, and blue. Over here, then I took down, made the greens. I told you about those. Uh, basically, when I made up this. Burn number and uh, burnt sienna and blue, brought it down with white. That hit really nice for this dead grass. So that's why I took that pile and split it into a few places here. This one I added some orange to. This one I added uh, some green to, uh, which was worked out pretty well. But it, it was it took it to a different place, so I had to add some cad yellow to it. And it became, basically became the leaf color up here. And then I added some more yellow to it, get some of these higher keelings, and then just a little bit of white to it. This color over here is just burnt, uh, burnt umber and, or burnt sienna and blue on the blue side with white. Uh, down here, these are just blue and uh, cad red medium. This is on the red side, this is on the blue side. Uh, and then down here we have uh, uh, Lizard and crimson or rose matter and blue. And this is the same thing there. <sighs> so those are the colors for this one. I think those will work out great. Have um, fun. We'll see hey, you Jim. all next week. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jim. Uh, it's Anne-Marie. Can you, I'm sorry, can you repeat the, the greens on the right and um, how you got into that chartreuse color? Down to here? Oh, down here? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This green here, um, I came. it came from this burnt sienna and blue mix. This is on oh. the burnt sienna thing. When okay. I added white to it, I got the basically ground color. I found the grass, dead grass color came really close to it. So I took that pile and I split it with uh, and uh, this one I added orange. This one I added uh, phthalo green too uh, and um, I got this nice color here but it's mm -hmm. it was just a it, it really comes in it looks like it's going to hit all the lot of these leaves single leaves in the back so mm -hmm. figuring that the sun the only difference between that and the and the, being in the sunlight is a little bit of light so I put in some cad light um, yellow into it and uh, came up with the chartreuse uh, mm -hmm. Then I just added just a little bit of white to a piece of it, just because some of these uh, uh, leaves here, you know, are getting uh, uh, reflective colors and, and they're, are uh, a little brighter and stuff. That Those colors there, too, can be changed really easy just by adding, just mixing a little mix of these guys into them so you don't have 
to use the same green everywhere. You can put a little bit of red into it or use even use these greens here uh, mm -hmm. as we get, get, get going. We have plenty of nice greens that are gonna pretty much guaranteed to sort of work together, even though we've got a couple of them are a little bit, you know, out of place. I'm gonna use that that green here. I'm gonna make that probably work that into the into his collar. So yeah. okay. thank you. Not to, not a total loss of a color. Yeah. We'll see. We will see. Okay. Let's get you good. I'm tired already. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I know you paint you painted three. This is gonna be your third day in a row to paint. Now you're gonna be like me. You know, you gotta work, work, work. That's what it is. Got to keep these guys. There you go. Whoa, let, me, let me pop it up a little bit and get. I'll keep the picture in there too. Let me get a few other things going. All right. I like I said I was going to use my big brush and I'm just going to tone it with just a little oil and uh i'm just gonna go with burnt sienna because i think burnt sienna is gonna be, is a good key color for this and uh even if we down here in the ground you know if you just gumble it a little bit you know you don't leave it a little rough down in here even you know this color here will be when we wipe it a little bit take off the blended in just a touch you know it's going to be good enough to use in a lot of places like this could be the leaves right here at the edge and that's cool when you do when you get get these extra little uh, things helping you out you know in this thing that's what that's what i like that's what i enjoy okay he said just i don't Back in here, we can just go nuts back in there. I don't care. You know, definitely this brown and that, uh, those greens are going to be nice back there. I'm going to dig the, dig the dog out of this. So I'm just putting a little bit of, making it a little bit easy in the white area of where I think he's going to be about. You can see, yeah, you can see I'm taking it really easy. And I'm just going to just load in the background here just to uh, get it in there. Anything loose like that. I love transparencies of one brush over another stroke. And uh, I always think those are cool. Those are like Richard Schmidt type uh, things, you know stuff he would do. Right away, being efficient with your, even with your background, a little bit like this. Could be cool, could be cool. Okay, so again, let me draw it in a little bit where I'm gonna think he, he's, he's gonna go. I think, you know, tail wise, you know, if we start with his tail, because I really don't want his tail too close to the edge. So if you go to mark the top where you want it and side where you need it, you know, work from there. That tells me about there and here. All right, so, so the thumbs are gonna start there. And a little arc. And then down longer like i said right here i would love to start to you know just add a little bit more on this side than any you know if i could you know can so that's what i'm doing here i'm just gonna add that in 
eyeballs, muzzles to, uh, to his head, to his neck, uh, eyeballs, you know, he's pretty good. He's a very good dog because uh, for drawing, kind of like him a golden, you know, the muzzle, the back of the head, the middle midline is right about right where the eyeball goes, you know, and then his ear comes down. So nothing huge, nothing real uh, tough to do. So his eyeball is going to go right in about there. Uh, you know, but yeah, he's still got to put the nose, touch of a nose in there, but that's about it. Start to tell you where things go. Okay, skinny now. Let's get the get this up a little bit. Get his back in here to his ribs. Shoulder right in here again. What did I say? Basically, it's a forty-five degree. Or if this was at twelve o'clock, the other hand would be straight at three o'clock. So that was twelve. This would be three. But that only works if you are not in from the you know you're not a digital age person to you yet. Totally. Otherwise, you wouldn't understand what the heck I'm talking about. Like a rotary uh, dial telephone, right? <laughs> My daughter was in a show at, uh, in college, and she had to pick up uh, a telephone and, and dial it. And she had no idea how, what <laughs> how it worked. <laughs> you had no idea what a die. Uh, you know, you had a ro You had to spin the spin the road, um, the dial around to get the number to get the dial to the dial. <laughs> my niece oh. had a similar. My niece had a similar challenge with um, telling time because um, she had digital watch, and uh -huh. from a younger age, and it was like. <laughs> To watch it was painful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's funny though. Uh, okay, so that's all I'm working on right now. It's just getting the width of this leg where that toe hits and then where, where I have to get that bottom foot here. You know, how these things kind of relate from, the, from this spot to the to his foot, and then this coming down just a hair more. Not too bad. His leg just should look like for me mm -hmm. when I look at it. Yeah, I think it's pretty close. I think I got him a little bit, just a little bit too skinny. Not by much, but just a hair. Quite mm -hmm. a bit. <laughs> and like we said, we're gonna. This poor dog, we're going to change it. Yeah. I'll never find a, <laughs> find this dog. When we're done with it. Gonna be a gonna be a female dog when we're done. So basically lining these feet up a little bit down in here now. So they can draw a line. Shadow is going to be in there too, so that's good. And the bum comes around, and that's it right there. Little, little skinny legs. Got a little bit of hips right there going through here. A couple, couple, the top part to lower hip, and then the muscle right here. Yes. Like I said, right in here, we're going to kick that back leg back in here, cross it over behind here, and another straight up and down for his foot. This one can come okay. in and just How go a I little bit. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> 
So anyway, all right. That's where we're going to, there's the drawing. Now it's the easy part. I'm just going to rub in some of that burnt sienna again into the darks here a little bit to start making my structure of uh, what's going in and what's dark and what's light with this guy. Basically, you know, everything behind him is kind of dark. So just getting a little bit of this color in there. You know, ahead of time, just a little brown. Everything's back there. That'll help because we're talking about making those darker, you know, browns right off the bat. You know, that foot here, these foot here, this, what am I doing? One second, I got to get in front of this. I got to get way in front of this, see where I'm way off. This knee, this leg's here, way off. Cause they got to line up down here. So that's, this is one of the things I like, okay, well this, this back, this, this leg here. And if I draw a line, you know, in that same perspective, they, they supposed to, this foot needs to line up. It's way too short. You guys didn't say anything. So I'm going to have to make this leg a little longer. So how, so in terms of the proportion of that leg, how, oh, that, the, oh, so in the, in terms of the proportion of that leg, how did you figure that mathematically again? Yes, mathematics. That's it. Big, I'm a big mathematics guy. No, I was just looking at this, this, the, that angle, the shadow here going uh -huh. like that between the two. Oh, uh, and then oh, if okay. I had that coming down in here, you know, this foot here and uh, that leg should should line up. So it just told me, yeah, okay. That I think the hip width is good. You know, I think that this this is good. It's just so mm -hmm. it's basically recreating the the end point where I got to be here. I just that's always what happens. You know, it's always one of those little things like that. I find in my drawings, I'm way off at and. Uh, yeah. yeah, but it's easier to, to adjust it before you start painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what we want to do. So, so I, I kind of guess felt it right here too when I put in this leg here back in there. I go, well, that fits. That fits right, but then that's not right. Anyway, it's right now. Better. Well, it's better. We'll see. We'll see. Um, get this I'm just going to basically paint in the op, the background a little bit to darken it in and pull him out a little bit for uh, I can know about where he's going to go And, you know, I'm just like you can see, I'm just kind of squaring off everything. I'm not like. Uh, no. Yeah. Too big. I just want to make sure I got the drawing right. Probably just a little too pointy of the head, but not much shoulders okay uh we're in you know this is like you know a place where i would say yeah we're good enough i think to go uh maybe the things you'll probably end up doing is probably his i might have went just a little skinny on his snout here the snout probably could be just a little wider but those are the little things i'll catch with like the, the digital check if I need one at the end, if I look at this and I go, there's something I think that's really kind of drawn wrong and I want to catch it before the paint's dry, you know, little things like maybe a lot of times when I do dogs, uh, the eyeball, the eye could be just, just, just sometimes just being off just a little bit, like a half eyeball, too, too short, too low, 
and stuff. And, you know, those, it's, it counts more when you're doing like a, uh, you know, a, a, a profile and doing a portrait of dog. So this one won't make that big a deal. I think I got a good little square, probably just a little bit right here should be a bone in this hip sticking up. Okay. All right, dark enough, light enough. Uh, I did not mark this. The one thing we don't know this dog, it's a good thing. Um, so uh, that means like markings and things we can be off on. We don't have to spend, uh, like I said, tons of time figuring our, out, uh, making sure the marking is the perfect uh, oval or shape, you know. We can uh, move on pretty quick. All right. So that's it. We moved the dog, moved the dog back. I moved him back, but man, I swear he, you know, he moved back. He moved back this way a little bit. So he's almost still a little bit, almost in center for a little bit. So, you know, take a little bit more off his nose. Push everything back just a hair more. There you go. We can just take it off his head. A little bit. Okay. That tail looks, could be a little short. Okay. All right. Now, it's going to go through my colors. I got my phalo green and uh, alizarin mixed. I'm going to try to save a little bit of this too, because I think, you know, I think even back in here on the on his bum, here this shape right here. You know, I think it could go. Definitely, it's almost that darkness that it could be the could fit in this this area here so you know if you want to do this you know for yourself that's great like i'm doing uh i'm just <laughs> i should have I should, it doesn't really go there yet but i'm just kind of like oh god you know sometimes you just realize something like oh that really works will work there so uh, I start putting it there. And of course, yeah, it's out, of, it's out of timing and out of place to put it in there right now. But you know what the heck? We're having fun. This is uh, just a nice little, beautiful little lit, lit dog that uh, I think is going to you know, work out really well. So this color here, basically I have that burn umber our burnt sienna back here already put back in here, right? And colors I'm putting on top of it are uh, oxide of no, alizarin crimson and blue right now. And I'm putting it low. This is what I was talking about, putting it in here low and, and almost into the shadows coming out, out here a little bit. I'm going to keep it when I put it in full strength. I'm going to put it in in the in back here a little bit. I'm going to put it uh, into, uh, you know, in, into the, the shadow underneath the tree, underneath the bushes and stuff. That's where I'm going to put in as my first, first lump marks. And then when I'm catching all this burnt sienna and stuff like that in here, and it starts to, you can start seeing how it kind of burns out. I can take that color here and now just re come down in here and just do a little bit of softening into the shadow here already. And so I get that dark and then I get this burnt, uh, uh, not quite as dark uh, color down in here, which is, there you go. That's what we want. You're out halfway home already. And, you know, we don't have to be perfect again at this point. It's just we were going to end up trying to be, but we don't have to be yet. Marsha does. Marsha, yeah. yeah Marsha has yeah. to be perfect because this is hers. So, Marsha, yeah, you have to be perfect the whole way through on this one. I'm ahead of you. <laughs> See, there, oh, no, oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. She's ahead of me. Okay, fine. 
<laughs> All right. Jeez. So I don't. I'm, uh. Marsha, have you been back to that Mexican restaurant? Oh, yeah. Since... Last night. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's a really nice Mexican restaurant we went to when I was doing a workshop in Lexington there. Uh, and we went it's there really a few good. times because it was it was so good. It's like, oh man, this is good. Chinese wasn't good. Uh, the Chinese was really good. My my photos of my co of the koi didn't turn out very well, but uh, yeah. All right. Um, what I'm working on now. That was uh, pretty much all of my. Uh, Phalo and alizarin kind of went down underneath here and stuff. Now I have what I have is the the, liz, the more phalo and uh, phalo side of with the alizarin now, and that goes all the way up top here. That just goes in these dark areas up top. This is definitely this color here. You can almost see the evergreen kind of showing through here, and that's really close to this. And if with that burnt sienna in here already, you know, mixing in that kind of just kind of brushwork that's kind of a you know back and forth, just kind of transparent type of stuff going on here. Uh, that really works great for this stuff, it really goes a long ways. And then you only have to do uh, when you get get the start cleaning it up or, you know, want to, you know, put start putting in the leaves when you put in just a couple leaves that are just in the right value, right size, right spot, you know, all this stuff back in there just comes to life and believes like it, you know, shows you it really does belong there. And it's, 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 it's just fun to watch. It's fun to, to let it happen and know it's going to happen and, you know, just take your time doing it and it's, you know, it's going to turn out. So work it a little bit, but don't overwork it. Just you want big, goofy strokes back here. They don't have to be exactly what's there, but, you know, some, you know, you know, get a few more darks in there and that's it. And up here, same thing. Just more at the top, bring it down, you know, let it blend in a little bit the more you more you don't do things the better it's going to be i'm going to move on from that color i need a few more warms in here down in here too uh this is the green and uh oxide red now and you can just tell the difference between the lizarin and the phalo green and the and the, then the and the green with the oxide red in it, the oxide red is uh, since it's light, it has a little bit of white in it, or you know, it's more opaque. And as soon as I laid it on there, you could just feel it grabbing, and you can start seeing the opaqueness, uh, the difference between working a, a color, two colors that are transparent, and they're gonna which one's gonna come forward, which one's gonna go back. But then when you play with this, it just it all comes forward. Doesn't like play, you know, like anything else. It doesn't really mix quite. So you just have to be really gentle with it and just put it in here and just get a little bit of that kind of stuff going on and let it go. The more you do back in here, the less I do back here, um, the more it's going to look like, you know, before it's going to, the more I let some of that orange back in here show through. Not like I did there. No, not like I did there. Because <clears throat> I was showing off, showing you the, how opaque it is. So. But if you get a few of those things to let, let some color show through, you're going to get really close to another what, what it sort of looks like. Coming up right into the dog. You know, just touching and drag, pulling it down a little bit. A 
Okay, same over here a little bit. One of the corners. A couple little spots that could use a little heaviness. This is going to be moving along really quick. I'm trying to keep it, I'm kind of building up this dark a little bit. And, you know, that's what's really, you know, getting it a little bit more in, in here. And then right around his mouth, you know, making sure when you put those darts in, you've got a nice clean edge there for his uh, face. Just makes it re the readability quick, quicker and stuff. I think his legs probably just a hair long too. Here, look for a couple of really nice strong darks right underneath. Right in here. And then for especially on this back leg, right in here would be a nice one to uh, get that right to there. Get that angle right. I think it comes out a little bit lower. Okay. Think about shadows too. You know, if you want to put a little bit on more in the shadow areas too, just a touch. Basically, it's really good around is the bottom of the feet. Finding a dark like that really can, um, you know, solidify his uh, presence, his weight, and everything else. I'm going to put put a couple more spots, find a few more areas up here. So there, I mean, this is probably the, one of the biggest parts of the, of, of it, Right here is this shadow and 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 leaves. And uh, we got it pretty much there ready. You know, got to thin out a little bit of things here. Got a lot of picks, a lot of things about the same uh, size, a lot of light areas. Just a touch too many. I want to get his nose to one more time right there, a little bit darker. Okay, uh, from there, I'm just gonna dig, basically gonna go right into the grass. I got a lot of good areas here. I got a couple of really cool little edges I like, so I don't have to do much there. So if I went with that basic burnt sienna blue, burnt sienna blue and a lot of white here, you can see it's just a little grayer than what I have, the burnt uh, sienna that's already in here. So I'm just going to just drag it around. Probably a good bristle brush probably would could have done this really, probably would have got this done a little cleaner. This is just kind of stopping and grabbing instead of just kind of, you know, bristle brush has the strength just to go through that kind of stuff. You know, you just, you know, it's just going to scrub it out of there and you're not going to get a stopping of the brush where you do with a, a regular uh, synthetic this guy can just power through that stuff yeah yeah because the bristles are so hard you can just you don't even know it know it should you know there you go this is i'm just adding in that was the first part right there that lighter kind of cooler uh, colors, whether were the uh, uh, just the burnt sienna in blue and just white on the burnt sienna side. That's that color. 
co this color has just a little cat of orange in it. I'm coming back in and I'm not going to do too much back in here. You know, it's too early to, you know, to start putting in any highlights yet. Because uh, when you start putting in highlights too soon, that kind of stuff, it just uh, keeps you, slows you down. It keeps, keeps the, takes the energy, even though it looks cool. It's, it's, it's zaps the energy from, from your brush as you keep going. You like to just save those things to the end because you don't want to have to work around the little area because you just, you put in a perfect mark, but everything else is so much, it has to go around it. It just kind of, you know, slows your brush down. So let's just say we're not going to do that. We're just going to not put those little things in. I'm done with that. I'm not going to do any more there. I mean, yeah, if I, you know, put in a little scratches of green from the, that green I made up with it, think about that kind of stuff in here. That's okay. A lot of this stuff here I I'd like to do, probably put it in my knife because I think it, it's just going to need, be, need to be nice and goofy looking. But since I got my bristle out, that's good. Let's go right into the dog. We mixed up that basic tone. We found that really nice tone for them. This is just uh, basically became from uh, our first color of uh, phalo green and alizarin. It's on the alizarin, sort of on the alizarin side, but mostly almost right down the middle. And uh, it, uh, you know, it's a perfect, perfect color here it's just uh wow it's even mixing in with the burnt sienna right here that i have in the thing really well this is gonna be nice this is gonna be, end up being really nice right now um i'm doing is just going in here i'm gonna kind of like just see where in the body back in here where it could go I'm not gonna worry about he doesn't have that many spots. You know, we have a couple spots here. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the big ones yet. I mean, I can scrape those guys out and put a really nice dark in there if I need to. But what I want to do is just get this kind of a transparency of uh, this color going, this, this blue kind of going over him to the front right up here and almost right into his shoulder. You know, not where the highlight is, but, you know, everything right into this area here can go, you know, can go that color. Even into his, if you want to do his, uh, you know, his mouth down there, this colors can do it. Yeah. I'm going to straighten out his leg a little bit. here and be about it coming around his shoulder a little bit and into his neck shadow areas putting it in and underneath here is his waist the loin area we're just letting it mix in with that that burnt sienna in there and uh you know, it's doing like three quarters of the work for me. That's pretty nice. I'm not going to have to do a, a ton of stuff here. I just want to just, when you start seeing this stuff happen, you got to take full advantage of, of it and just, you know, let it come to you. Just, just put it in, just play it, play it, slow play it a little bit and let the, the painting start to sh come to you. Uh, just put the colors in and just put them in slowly. Just let the transparencies work for you. You know, and uh, kind of fun. Right? Everybody should be right here with me, right? We're all doing looks just like this, right? <laughs> no. Good. All right. Simple, simple stuff. No, it's not simple, but not uh, 
I'm going to have to work too hard on it. I think this bristles really did a nice job of, uh, you know, going in there, but not uh, overpowering uh, that burnt sienna that was in here. So played really well. Just, yeah, just, you know, you get lucky every once in a while. Combinations, when you start putting in combination of colors and they just uh, working out, work out for you. You know, I, you know, I still could be, you know, end up because I know I move his head back and things like that. So, eh, you know, there are always going to be little problems here and there. All right. Darkness. I'm going to go now. That's, that was almost the whole, all the color I had of that, that, that lightness I had for, for him. Now I'm just going to come in and this is the, I'm going to try looking at this. This is the lizard part where I added just a little uh, lizard to the color, to, to his shadow area. Looking at this, I'm looking at it like his uh, back legs or back, back, back behind here legs inside here and stuff being a little cooler. And then his legs back in here, down back, this back leg on that side, and this one back in here. Definitely a little, could be a little cooler than the front one. That will help give it a little space. So what I'm going to do is keep these colors, these legs back in here with a lizard, right? And maybe in, into his haunches a little bit here, the back here, and then in, into his little bit there. But then on these, the front ones that have that same thing, maybe I'll go with more, this is the CAD version, of that same, those colors together. So let me see if I put these guys together. I get a little bit of warmth, more warmth in, 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 the, in the color. And the red, the coolness recedes a little bit. This warmth comes forward a little bit. That will help, uh, just helps with uh, getting a little more uh, space when you don't have any. So just a simple change of uh, temperature between, you know, one spot and the next here, there. Probably put a little bit of this into his, right here into his uh, neck and where his shoulder goes right here in his neck. And then look at it again in his face. I see it. I think his face could be a little bit warmer. I'm going to put a little more, maybe even put a little bit of this. Uh... Okay, yeah. This is that burnt sienna and blue mix with uh, just burnt sienna and blue and just a little bit of white. I think it'll probably use it down in here. Um, just got a little bit of warmth in it too. I'm gonna try and get that into his front muzzle here a little bit. And get this drawing right. Right. Maybe. Oh yeah, see, see that's the color. Right in between all those things, just to get that one little, you know, shoulder right here to pop, just a little burnt sienna and white and just a touch of blue in it, but it, you know, you probably don't even need that. But it just turns that whole form, you know, it's just like, uh, you know, comes forward, other colors recede. So it just automatically has this, you know, turning. Uh, that's really nice. I'm also going to use it right back here. In the back right in here, I see it right from that back line uh, into, his, into his chest a little bit. Just a little bit of color. Also, there's a few spots here you can use it to define some of these leg muscles here. There's a couple from his uh, thigh here coming down to his ankle. There's just uh, that back muscle there in his leg. 
right on the middle of that that spot there yeah there's a just a warm and that would be again burnt sienna, burnt sienna and just a touch of blue with white in it there's a lot more burnt sienna in this painting than i thought you know i'm glad i, I uh toned the canvas with it um definitely going to put put a little bit more into the shadow areas here oh, I can... probably going to be in the back tail a little bit more Ah, uh, that is as far as I can go with this big brush. I'm going to tone that crotch area down a little bit too. More purplish. I just got a little light. all there okay yeah so i'm just toning this this back leg down just a hair more i just got carried away didn't get it quite as dark as it should have been probably should have a little more red to it than that color too so it's just a little too much white and overall Okay, go with that. Now you got, you know, all these, you know, spots going on here too. Where are we going to put those guys? Okay. Here I'm going back in again. Uh, this is basically the the mid-tone of uh, glycerin and uh, phalo green, the basic uh, color we put down here, but it's not cut with quite as much white. You know, I'm just using that to do the, do a little bit of these mid-tones here that, that are shadows up here. Also, there's gonna be some green going into them. Right, so we'll, I mixed up that one where we had added the more phalo green into this color, into his thing like that. But uh, as you can tell, I need in the shadow area, being in the shadow area, uh, you know, we needed just, a, I needed just, I had the basic dog color, you know, pretty right for this, for this, for everything where he was shadow wise. But what I didn't have was, uh, well, I did have it, but I didn't, you know, didn't talk about it. Is the midtone that would uh, you'd need to do these other parts, you know, come back in here and uh, make sense of some of these muscles and stuff. And then what I'm doing is looking at these shapes here in in these shadows and mimicking them, knowing that yeah, it goes in there goes in a little bit like that there's a crease there that you know that's probably right where the hip is so it is going to have a sharp point on it in that area I'm just going to come around here a little bit more on the thing a little bit more right in here into his right into that 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 leg. I'm gonna push that blue a little bit too. That per blue purple or phalo green and uh, 
blue thing here, just on this edge here, too, right where I'm going to put the light on the other side. I'm going to put a little bit more blue there, purple and green right in here. I think it's going to be really effective when it, uh, when it gets there. Uh, shadows. Now I'm going to put in some sh You can put in the spots now if you want. I'm going to bring this up and Get the highlight for his head here, coming down. Put a little bit in, into his nose. Keep covering up that nose. I keep putting in color and wiping it out. I just got too big a brush, you know, because it just is kind of a little thing. So I should probably just change my brush. Uh, just too soon. I just want to give, give up my big brush too soon. I want to get, get a few of these kind of cool uh, cool greens and purples to work together in the shadow area. And that I see it right back here in the back paw, just at the bottom, a little reflective. And then this whole leg here, foot here, there's just a little bit of green from that one side coming through. It's pretty cool. Might even push it a little bit more just Got a little bit of washed out. So just a hair more here and there. That there maybe. Anywhere else I want to hit that one more time. All right. Yeah, see, I'm pretty happy with the background, the way just the way it is. I'm not going to have to do too much there. I'm just switch to a uh, go back to like a number eight or so size of a synthetic here. Now he's going to push in his face. Now start putting in his face, putting in the darks first. Uh, I'm going to go with the burnt sienna and blue, but it, this is on the really total black almost. I'm going to put working it in right up here and get this one spot. That worked out pretty good. In fact, I didn't do much and it worked out really well because uh, of uh, all the paint that's already in there, the light colors and stuff already, you know, so when I put, put in the paint or put this guy in, I already got a natural soft edge. Back in here, though, I'm going to get a lot more uh, color um, white coming in. I might have to just, you know, peel that paint off a little bit where I think that I, where I want that uh, dark to go in really clean. This little spot right here going up around here. Let's back down around his leg here. And if I can pull that paint out of there a little bit. When I put the black back in, I'm going to go back with the same color. This one, even though it's going to change a little bit, but I want to get the basic in there. In there, Make sure I get the middle part of the shape, you know, put in before I start to touch the sides. That way, uh, you know, I don't get a lot of blending going on in my brush right off the bat and get that dark spot in. And then I can get, then when I go in and put in the sides, go in and finish putting in this, this spot, I'm going to get some of these those soft blends naturally. There's a few little things. Do same thing back in there. One little spot here. I haven't done too much with that yet.
and you can see what happens. This is like, you know, trying to get that paint, that, that spot dark again, even if I, you know, can go back and I have to use really thick paint to be able to get that in there right. Here, this is where I that this is where I put the dark in it early. But you can tell, you know, the transparency of the color in oil stuff at this point, you know, just made a mess. Now I can go back in and put it in a little bit heavier. All right. Okay. All right. You guys good? You lost? Okay. So now that I have the color in there, now I can just just touch it back and forth a little bit with the high, the highlight, and uh, and I'm going to get pretty much everything I need. Also, though, what happens though is, you know, if you do put the white in like this, you know, I had it too early or like uh, like this. I, it's a good way to put the spot, other little spots in though, putting in these other spots. That's exactly what you need. You need to put the put, make sure the whites in, and then you come back in and you put the dots in. Okay. When you got big spots like this, you're going to want to uh, definitely clean them out a little bit. Okay, they're pretty, I put them in pretty flat. What I'm going to do is take these spots and give them some dimension. Like the top of them, I'm going to go with some, uh, this is that uh, CAD red medium and uh, blue. You know, just putting it that red up top here. We'll change that, change that a little bit. I put cool blue, more blue, a cooler blue and stuff into this shape here. All of a sudden that, that spot has dimension. It doesn't just, you know, sit there. You know, you can do like this one, it just kind of just sits there, right? As soon as you start putting in some warm darks, Let's say just a little more red into this thing, and you put it a little bit closer here towards the sun. And here, and then there's a spot here, just like a little bit more in the neck and shadow right back in here. You put that in with just a little bit more blue, and you get, you know. They just start to work. Kind of lost his neck. I probably, you know, the collar should be right in here too. I probably cut you know, the collar is going to go right in here. Oh. oh, did you not put the collar in too? What? I you put one collar. Some? One collar. Good girl. She's voting for one collar. Good, good, smart, smart choice. Let's go one collar. We don't do, let's do the red one. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like the red. Okay. Well, let's just put the red one in. And then I'll just pull fake the rest. All right. We'll fake the rest. I'm going to bring that spot then up a little bit more. Same thing I was doing before. Bring it up around the top of his head. I'm going to probably have to pitch, kind of get lost here. Um, I'm going to bring it into from his ear down here to his to his forehead. Missing. Blow it up a little bit. 
There you go. Okay, I can see what's going on. A lot of dappled light going on there, and you have this separation of head, you know, uh, parts of his head from going on too. So that's another thing. Okay, we put it in one color. The front part of his uh, globe of his head on the one side, uh, we'll just put a lot more red in the red, red dark here. Uh, this is red dark. I mean, uh, uh, oxide, uh, this is a, uh, no, it's a uh, cad red medium in blue here. I'm going to put that in, in, into this, this part of his head into, and when I do his darks up here and, and, uh, things, the backside over here, there's just a little bit of it you see. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that with just a little burn umber and blue back in here, which won't have the same. Uh, strength and it won't power forward as much where uh, just that amount of red in that that dark there will uh, turn this you know come forward and give this give his face a lot of his face uh, some space or yeah space really so I'm gonna go around his ear here uh, does get a little bluer at the bottom but a lot of red going in here, and then it comes comes here and comes down off. Okay. And then we we're talking about. Um, I'm gonna put just a slight bit of burnt sienna, a little more dark sienna in his face here. Where is where I'm gonna put the oranges in? in and things like that into his eyebrow, into his brow. There's a little bit of bright orange there too. But before I put that in, I want to put in just a little more, uh, you know, uh, just a little bit of uh, burnt umber or burnt sienna and blue into that area. Before I put in the brightness, I want to like just dull down the things a little bit into his ear here you know the bottom of his ear here going down keep it in a little bit blue on that side and then it gets in the sun right in here there's a the sun's coming in and so this side's going to get a little bit warmer i'm going to go this is that phalo green and uh cad red and i'm going to put that into that ear little spots in the front and uh, front and right to where it almost, you know, gets that darker, darker spot right here, going up the side there where it got the, goes into the fold. Use that. Uh, and then take his ear down. His ear goes, goes well, pretty far down here. So I'm going to stick that in there. I'm going to use this for the nose too. Put, start putting it in his tip of his nose I can see it there there's a little bit of greenness to it there is a little more uh, well, blue too but I like to get that in okay everything's starting to come along really fast all I need to do is just soften the, the edge here so it doesn't look too bright Get, get his lip to come around a little bit, a little bit more. And he's about ready for highlights, you know, really. He's ready for the high, highlights, Miller highlight. All right. I was talking about his eyes. I want to do his eyes, too. I want to get those guys in really dark. Uh, make sure they, they read. Coming back down in here, getting this that one spot there. Yeah, I'm short. I'm short on his neck a little bit. Yeah, why didn't somebody say something? Oh yeah. Okay. Method. 
feel it from his leg. Feel it right here. Bend that leg back. All of a sudden, there you go. Oh, see, it worked. Um, okay, I'm, before I put that le- eye in, I'm going to go put these little warm oranges touches in here where we start to get, get a little bit of light showing through. As you can tell, the only a few little spots where you know the lights really come through nicely. Yes. Bring that in just. one little spot right behind his ear that really it's really nice right there kind of comes in and does that ear but Well, that's about it. Now I'm just going to put in his eyeball. I'm going to put his eyeball in with the knife. I just like putting him in with a knife because it's just I can get away with. Um, this really makes it for a strong dark. I'm going to go with the Lizarin and blue first on the Lizarin side. Straight no white, just enough to, to, to get that area for his eyeball. It's just a little spot here. Just a little bit more. Now this blue and uh, blue and cad red medium. I'll put that right in the middle of that spot. Now, hard to tell since it's so small. Uh, that's what I did, but that's what I did. I'm going to use it for that. Just those things. Maybe just pick that eye up a little bit bigger. Okay. All right. Good enough. Highlights. Now I'll get to the highlights of the dog. We got. Oh, we got a whole half hour. Gosh, I've been painting for an hour. All right. Now, clean brush. Let me see if this. I want to put in these highlights, uh, and then see if I got them strong enough. So I'm going to do a little test first. This is that uh, when I mix. It up. I took a piece of it. I pushed it over, and I put a lot of white into it. But I also put a little, uh, uh, a little ochre into it, and then I put, you know, white to it. Stuff. I just want to put put this on. I'm just going to do his bridge of his nose and see if it pops enough. How much it pops if it's too bright and or not. And I'm just touching the brush straight down and lifting it up. 
just connecting the dots a little bit. I think that's pretty close. It probably could go just one step lighter. So I'm going to take just a piece of it and just add some more white to it. <laughs> there you go. Who's that? Who's complaining? What, Jim? <laughs> Are you complaining again? No, groaning, groaning, groaning. Okay. Oh, okay. Just check it. All right. I'm going to hit now. Now I think I got it. I can go back in here. I'm going to go and uh, start digging into his shoulders and put in the highlights in his shoulders. Then I can do then uh, pretty much, you know, the tail and his, his, his wrist here. Pretty good. Um, think about his shoulders. Think of the big section here. You know, you got, you know, if you if you don't even know uh, what the muscles are or how they're connecting in the shoulder and thing, we'll just go by a stroke and see if you can see where, you know, that these, the angle of those strokes, like uh, right here, you know, there are going to be like three of them coming together right here. Uh, and one's going to go in this direction, then it's going to be stopped. And then it's going to, another one is going to be connected to it right over here, going back, but a little bit less than that. Then there's one on top. That's going to come down and connect into both of those guys. But there's just a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, shadow in between them. So they're not like, perfect uh they're separated by just a little bit of the color that's there and then from there i just see it radiating out from that one spot you know and each stroke just a hair of you know dark your regular uh colored paint that's down there now is staying there everything else is just you know there's just Everything just kind of like fits together. Okay, let me see if I can get the last one here. And that's usually how I, I just do these things is like you find those one spots and then you just kind of rotate around. Okay, this is, could be a little rounder. You can just go back in and just at the end and soften a few edges. Really want to just keep making sure that, you know, I'm not uh, just wiping out certain areas of, uh, Oh, this background going through to make sure there's enough dark showing through. You got that? <laughs> Has <Okay. Yeah>. No. <laughs> okay. You guys, can, I, you guys have had it with me already today. Okay. We're done. No, all I got to do is go in here and dig in here a little bit. Let me get this highlight into into, his, into this area. I want to see if I can put it in with like one big nice stroke, you know, thick, rotate it to thin, then come back and just rotate, open up my brush and get back in into it, and you know, finish off that stroke. See if you can do that kind of stuff in one one stroke, and then you only have to put in, come in and put it in, finish putting in. Uh, that's, that's always like, I like doing that stuff. But, you know, then when you didn't get it right, you got to come back and hit it again. A lot of times also when you're doing this, 
you're going to get started getting really soft, too soft of uh, edges and stuff because you're you got a lot of paint going on and you're, you know, you just kind of like draw going with the, with the, uh, the shape and stuff with your brush and you start getting a lot of smoothness. Mm -hmm. So that's when you got to come back in at the end and just, you know, really pop a few little, you know, this area here got basically when I drew, when I drew it down, everything kind of smeared together pretty nicely. I mean, it worked nicely, but you know, there's areas in here that uh, need to pop forward. And so basically if I just go in here and just go in a different direction with my brush, you know, it's just going to pop a little bit brighter. Just going to get a few highlights. And I'll, bring, I'll be bringing out my knife real soon. And when I bring out my knife, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's, I'm, means I pretty much have uh, given up on the painting and uh, I screwed the pooch here. Oops, screwed the pooch. We took the, took everything off this pooch. Uh, and then, uh, you know, no, basically that means I'm ready to uh, really I need to just get in there and just put a few pieces of paint where I want want them. And this is the thing, dappled light, spot, spot, spots. You know, we're just getting these little teeny little spots. You know, in the back and then in that area. It's going to get that nose here. Just one more spot here. This one pop this right by his right there get that to, just to live a little bit now all I'm doing now is pretty much gravy work just gonna go in and just make sure I can you know Clean up a little bit. I can just see a little bit of uh, lightness on this back edge of his leg, right in here. And goes into his shoulder deltoid, starts right up there. Just softening, making a line, and then just blending it edge in a little bit. Just to pop that, that arm around. And then just, okay, anything else? Like I said, really, a lot of that other stuff going into this guy are is nothing more than um, you know, those dots going in here is spots. Uh, pretty much nothing more than you know, like what we do, I was doing before, just filling in the blanks. Coming down here, just finding his back here a little bit. See, he's starting to pop out of there nicely. This, see, I knew this was to be a, a decent painting when I saw it, when I stole it from, uh, from Mara. They said, you know, that's that could be a really nice painting. And she goes, yeah, I agree. So I stole it from her before she said she could say, "Oh, I want to paint that." You stole quite a few. No, of them. No, I, huh? You stole quite a few. Uh, no, I did. No, 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 I wouldn't do that. Oh. <laughs> hey, I paid for. I paid for dinner. I figured I deserved it. <laughs> All right. So I'm just gonna. That's it. That's it. I'm. Mean, you try to. When you get into this point here, highlights and stuff, really hone in and in here. This area here, I'll probably just go in and just touch, barely touch and soften the, 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 the paint edges here and there. And same thing with the, just around these, uh, his markings. Just touch those with the brush. And just soften those, those, that, those, those edges here and there. 
that's really all he he's left to do with him. You know, that's a, and then, you know, of course, if you want to go back in and put in a few more of these dots, I'd say really just put in the big ones, the ones that just, you know, like, you know, stand out. You, know, you don't have to do all the other ones quite as much. That's what I would say. Damn it. That's what I'd say. Okay. And let's see. Anything else here? Mm -hmm. All right. Like I said, I'd bring out my knife at this point. And I'd start putting in these leaves. I'll put in a few of the leaves. You start going, you got these nice darks in here. So you know that they, they run on line here. So you're going to have, you know, one there and then you're going to have one here and another one there. And then you flip it and you just go that way with your knife. And, uh, you know, fill in these, just do a few of those little things. All you have to do is do a few I probably could probably switch off my brush, do them with my brush a lot quicker and easier. Get them a little bit softer. But, and that is. I did that. I just got to put a couple above it. So it's a lot of this just disturbing the paint. You got this as a background. This is how Richard Schmidt would do it. Just barely disturbing the paint with a couple leaves and let that, you know, for the cool ones, just a few there, a few mid-tone green ones in the back here. You know, just a, a few going in a few different directions. You know, you got one there and you have one coming down and then, you know, just a little bit and a couple of sticks, you know, and that's all you need of that kind of stuff. Yeah. A couple of rich ones coming up. Then you got, then I go to my sharp truce color and you find that key spot that, that where that love leaf is. And the one that crosses over them, those two, you nail those ones. And the paintings, painting's yours, right? So let's get this one right here. Just start with it flat, turn it, and then just flick it at the end. Get a mm -hmm. nice leaf. Make it just a little darker on the back side. Not bad. And then this one up here, just bigger. Just okay, Jim, what are you doing there? What am I doing? I'm putting I missed in your leaves. palette knife thing. That's all right. You missed my palette? No, I missed you. Never mind. <laughs> Tell me what you need. I got plenty of time. I'm just gabbing now. Yeah, well, I got to figure out how to do that. How to gab? I thought uh, you did a good job. <laughs> a little bit carried away on the dog here. So how's Travis and everybody? Travis, wonderful. Travis a, yeah. He's moved. Give him a ginger, give him a ginger snap for me. <laughs> Actually, tons of them. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, 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 it, that was an easy one. Okay, I just I figured, you know, hey, yeah. you know, I don't want you going out of your way for for anything. <laughs> I want to get this, this these two branches here. I like these two. Uh, basically, you get the front front two uh, leaves together, and then you just you know the everything else can be you know just a twist of the brush, and then just bring out one more at the back end. So you don't get too much like 
information on the corner of your painting. You keep everything just inside pointing things, you know, when they mm. pointing to this area. And then you just little dots of light, little dots of light in your darks, you know, right on the edges, just little scat cracks of air and, and things right in here. And they just take you back. You just look for those little teeny little highlights. Don't get too much up, even up here, even though it's, there's a lot of light and um, leaves going up up there. You know, don't uh, just, you know, keep them down just a little bit lower in the painting. And you'll be good, better. Good. That's uh, you know a couple of nice ones back in here. You got a you got a lot of light. We just need a little bit of light. Come on, only ten o'clock at your time, not bedtime. Keep keep working. Okay, okay. All, right, all right, all right. Do we have to show you this? Yes, right. Heck yeah! Pretty soon. Wait a second. I'm not done yet. When I finish, you finish. Okay. No problem. No. Knife work. I'm into my knife work now. Now I got all these like purples left over. I made up and that purple greens and things that are over here with the midtone. Perfect for putting in for sticks on right on the edge here, just to build out a little bit. When you got a nice spot, like you got a nice spot like this, just putting in a, a stick going through it. Which in one of these days, I'm going to get this and I'll be dangerous. <laughs> you will be dangerous, you know. Oh, we know that. You... And then did not, uh, just going to put in a. Couple little sticks, a couple of things you can always see through here. Vertical. That's what I really like is, is I knew this is this is the kind of little stuff you put in at the end, you know, these little dots that uh, you know go in quickly like this, but you, they they just change the painting all of a sudden around you can start seeing. In, into this uh, these dark areas just by putting in a little a dot color. Except for back in here, I missed this one spot here. Okay. And then the last little thing here is, yeah, I like to put in, you know, you know, grasses coming through here. You know, maybe, you know, one coming up here through his, into his paw, you know. And getting it to work. Come on. Woof. Yeah, these little scratches that pull the shadows and darks together. You know, they pull, pull, you down, pull each other down. So, really important to break up the lines and and that is mm -hmm. sort of it sort of it you might get a nice sometimes you gotta just put in a highlight with your knife but uh Mm -hmm. And uh, just little dark spots. One, two, if I put them in groups of three, 
big one, little one, and then twist. There we go. All right, how's everybody doing? Everybody having fun yet? We having fun? Oh, fab. Good. This is a nice, easy watching, one. I'm glad everybody joined me for it. Watching closely. Uh, hey, your horse started turning out very nice. Like, I think you have a, you know, Real shot at the, a real nice one there. Yeah, I, I like the beginning stage. It's just, you know, I'm still figuring out what to do next. I watched part of the video today and that was helpful. I, yeah, I did not get very far on it. I felt pretty bad when I, they left and then I didn't get back to it right away. And then uh, somebody already had theirs finished. So I just copied what they had. <laughs> So that's what, you know me, that's what I do. Okay, what I'm going to do is bring you guys in close now and you can start to see, see what I did here. A little, had a little fun here. A little dark, I got it right here. I can, I, it's nice to see it in reverse now. Now I turn around and I can see it in reverse. Little things like this and this little spot here. I just pop out at me going, okay, fix those and everything else could be okay. But uh, this is where I was talking about in the shoulder here. Uh, kind of replicating this area up, up here in the shoulder, you know, you know, how would that almost like, it's almost like a flower the way uh, you put those br brush strokes in and just go around and just leaving just a, just a little bit of the dark uh, underneath to show through. And, yeah. Um, yeah. and it, it's it, it can be very effective. The same thing down in here, trying to get certain areas, when you, you can put them in, like you feel like you can put them in with one stroke instead of putting them in with three, mm -hmm. you can just put it, it's just so much more powerful uh, of a painting. And then your highlights, you're just hitting only a few of them, don't hit everything. You know, I'm not even sure if I'll, you know, I almost like it better without putting in the dots up here that are in here. So I probably won't do them because I'm lazy. I want to be a lazy artist when I grow up. Being lazy artist, you know, can be, can be very helpful. But that's a good start. Let's see who we got here. Everybody who wants to show. Everybody's uh -huh. jumping up and wants to I'm show. Good. I'm good. Wait, how do and, you do this? Oh, you want to show? Sure. What the oh, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. 20. <laughs> how do Marcia, I do this? We'll go to, well, should, let me turn, I turned it on. Okay, you're facing right. your thing. There you go. Okay, but how, how do I get rid of the split screen? You don't have a split screen. I do. I, do. I got it. See you. Yeah, we All can right. see you. I, just you. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, that's okay. You know, I've seen a lot better. I've seen, I've seen so much, so many better ones than that. You know, it's it's hard to say, you know. You see it? You know, look at that. Look at that. That, that, does, that doesn't work at all. I can't. <laughs> what were you thinking? You know, look at those lights. Look at I those. I think it's a good cow. <laughs> I'm sorry, Marcia. You know me. I just give you crap. That is me? gorgeous. That is a gorgeous pup. You like it? You really hit. You You know, just, just the, I wouldn't touch. I would not touch him anymore. Maybe except for his face, maybe getting a little bit more of those worms in the top of his head and stuff. But I would not touch the whites at all anymore. I'd say you're done. Don't go in there and do any more. Maybe just so soften a couple of the black spot edges. Uh, boy, he has a lot of volume. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Through. How do I do this damn thing? Hey. God, I can't. I can't stand this thing. You're fine. You're. We see nothing but a. Okay, she's done. Marsha, fix it. Fix it up. You got so much work to do. 
no, take it easy on, just do the background now. Yeah, just work on the background, hit the highlights, hit a few leaves, don't paint all the leaves, pick out the big, coming out of the ones that are really hold it. Yeah, work a little more warms into his face. And the, uh, and the foreground, I haven't done the yeah, face. Yeah, and then do the foreground, but take it easy, make sure he's the star, like you did. That is gorgeous. That is like really, it. really nice. Uh, it's okay. You it's, know, it's it's okay. All right. Yeah. All right. We'll see you later. That's Marcia, folks. That she's, you know, she's a goofball. Oh, please be nice. Okay. Here she yeah. comes. This is Lynette. How Lynette. the hell do I stop my sharing third painting in three days? So be You're easy. You're not on here, Marcia, anymore. Uh, you know. Okay. My dog might be too long, but whatever. I did a freehand. So. Let's, Let's see. Where is okay. he? Where's the? Where I can't are see you today? Oh, today, oh. Junior. I have a hard oh, time. Oh man, I think I don't think he's too long. I think you can get away on this dog with being too short, too long, just because of the the body. You know the way that that body can coil up. Uh really really nice you guys that that's these are two really nice paintings already that uh that shape that i think that's what i really liked about it, it was the dog's coiling uh, effect shape there you caught you caught so much of it so well it's very fun very fun i think the only thing i would do is probably thicken up the front leg in the front um the one that's coming at us the bent one just okay, a little bit bring thicker, it up a little higher. bit more, a little more uh, forearm, and uh, I, uh, it looks very, it looks like a Toulouse Lautrec for some reason to me. That that back leg, that is gorgeous. That just you know, yeah, it's, it probably doesn't bend that way or anything else, but that is what a Toulouse Lautrec would paint his dog to look like. That, that back leg, that's the kind of stroke you'd have. Even the front leg, you, you, it's fine. I would just say, just give it a little more elbow down, just a hair more. Yeah, get, make sure you get some light, just a touch of light on his forehead, you know, find that, find those spots with the, but that's pretty much with that burn, um, burnt sienna and, the, and the, just a little bit of white and burnt sienna and just touch a blue in it, just really rich. Okay. Just hit, hit those highlights that are just going to make that, you know, tell you everything you know about the brow, just enough to tell you about how far that ear moves down. That's all you have to do. And then the background, background, I love the green back there. That's really going well. So, and then just, just a little more scratching and stuff in the foreground, you know, make that foreground just a little more uh, spotty and scratchy and uh, loose. But uh, oh, it's really okay. close. I mean, it's not even that much. It's just a little, just a little rough. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, this was fun. That was my best dog joke, and you did not get it. I cannot I believe it. Because I, I was trying to miss my rough. It's rough. <laughs> no, it's roof. <laughs> okay. That's a, you know, congratulate. I love that. I love the way he's turned and stuff. I just yeah, just. Pull that forehead. Find ways to do it. If not, uh, if you can't use the, you know, try a little bit of the orange in, in the right spots. A little maybe just a hair darker on, on his, uh, in right around his, uh, above his uh, brow and stuff. Okay. Uh, but you can also use really nice spot uh, leaves behind there. Green leaves, light green leaves to use those to also show everybody the shape of that head. You can use okay. just, just where those leaves stop, you know, or go right, you know, but just don't outline them with leaves. <laughs> okay. Don't outline them with leaves. You'll be fine. Just get, okay. just use enough leaves, just enough to tell us, you know, his head. And um, that's it. You know, just, and then just a few little fun little things in the grass there, just a uh, little leaves and um, a couple more grasses taller grasses little grasses and you that that's gonna be that's really nice congrats thank you what are we gonna call him yeah what are we calling uh, him? ralph ralph hey <laughs> <Roof. laughs> i don't know <Roof>. <laughs> <laughs> all 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's see if Kathleen, did you paint? Kathleen, she's sleeping on us. Oh, she fell I'm asleep. Here. Can you hear Kathleen's me? Kathleen's sleeping on us. Can you, what do you <laughs> believe? Can you believe this girl? Can you hear me? All right. Yeah, where, where are you? Oh, I'm here. <laughs> we're, we see we see a nice chair. No, you're not oh. there. That's a chair. Oh. Oh, she? See? See? Woo. Uh, that is I'm fun. Ready. I've learned oh, a lot. I, like the way, but... I really like the way your oranges pop through in the back like that. That's real kind of real, real, you know, yeah, really Inspiration. Well, I haven't done much impressionistic. with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you didn't do much. You know, where the heck, what the heck were you thinking? You know, again, again, so much fun in that body. Um, you know, you got a lot of colors. That's that's what all you guys have done so far is put a lot of good colors in that body and they work so well. And then you just get them in the right spots and they just tell you everything about what comes forward what sh that's what recedes a little bit yeah you got to work on the, the the front leg bent a little bit more yeah you, you're just getting there that's really good though uh, well i'll keep the, working on yeah, it need some work for sure but um yeah, yeah the yeah. color thing has really been fun yeah yeah he yeah it's good i love him oh, beautiful well, thank oh. you I'll keep working. Really nice shape. <laughs> He'll take me off. That's the thing about this. That's the whole thing. Even if when you're off a little bit on the shape, uh -huh. it still it still works so well. You know, it's just fun. Yeah, it is. I really like it. Congrats. Congrats. Well, thank I you. Think, yeah. Keep well, working. I'll, Finish it I'll up. Plug away. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. And, and then we got Char at the end here. Here she goes. Char didn't turn anything on. Okay, here, here I come. Okay, there okay. she comes, walking down the street. There's Char. How you doing, Char? Pretty good. Oh. Woo! Oh. Wow. Great. Beautiful. Oh, he's wonderful. Yeah, or he's okay. She. It's a girl now. <laughs> yeah, she's, it's a she now. It's an it. You made an it. This is uh, this is what happens. You don't listen to me right here. Guys. This is the problems we have. You know, you see, go off on your own and you, you think you're, you make it the big time and you forget all about us. <laughs> <laughs> no, really I, nice, Char. Char, really you nice. <laughs> you did everything on what I was saying. This is some dappled light. I love the dappled light effect. E even, yeah. you know, even in the grasses, that, that dappled light looks great. I love everything about it, uh, you know, except for it's not mine. Uh, there's a few, you know, look for, look for little things in the darks now and just, but just everything now is just the hairs, scratches now. Everything, you got the main thing in, you know, just scratches. You know, you might have to soften the black spots up just a hair on the outsides okay. and stuff like that we talked about. Okay. Tail could be slightly thick. But that's about it. You know, those things are so easy to fix. And you are, you're pretty much done in two hours. Okay. Great. Yeah. Thank you. That's too bad. That's really, really too bad. You don't, oh, it almost fell. I feel so <laughs> bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, Char. That's really um, nice. There's not no much problem. I can Thanks. say about, uh, you know, you know, I want it, would love to, you know, help you ruin it as much as <laughs> possible from now on. So, no, uh, guys, finish these up, and we, and you got to paint now. You see the 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 gauntlet's been thrown down. Now you well, got to you got to paint. That's the challenge. It is a challenge, but I'm ready. Uh, those are nice. Those are real nice guys. I mean, uh, Marsha, congrats, great job. For, thanks for the photo and everything. Uh, we have one more for Marsha later on this summer uh, near the end. Another hound one, a lot of hounds, and the girl with the red coat. Um, Don't you, um, that that will be fun. That will, that should be a lot of fun. How about those um, horses in the early morning with the with the spray? So no, those no, those are mine. Oh, those are, are we? Are, are you doing? Are you doing more of the 
Monday night ones or what are we? Or was this just sort these of these are just once these are a la carte. These are okay. you, you signed up for a bunch of them. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah, these are all a la, a la carte for the summer because just okay. because everybody goes on vacation and yeah, I don't sure. want to. So, so everybody give everybody a little pick out what they want. Only problem is when you do do one like this and no one shows up, you know, you go, oh, too bad. They yeah. missed out a really nice one. Yeah. Uh, no, but we had great. we had four we had four we had four other people sign up for it and paid for it. But uh, something came up for all of them. So, it, you know, it was a good size class. It would have been a nice class. So uh, anyway, okay. too bad. So we should too we bad should for just them. Stay tuned. OK, we should stay tuned. All right. Yeah, look for these up on the on the site. I want to see you guys put them up on the on the student site. I want to see some oohs and ahs. You know, you guys, these are some really nice paintings. I must say, I'm very happy with you guys. Uh, I'm happy with myself because I was help helped uh, tell you some colors that helped pull it together. I think too. Anyway, mm -hmm. that's enough credit I'll take. Uh, <laughs> That's and all I and get. everybody That's all missed out. Uh, can I jump in and say everybody missed out on the plein air uh, painting at Grand Mill? It was fabulous. We had a wonderful time. Yeah, and no, and yeah, we went in the plein air yesterday. Just just three of us, me, uh, uh, and Lisa, and and uh, and uh, Lynette there, because we live really close to it, and if it rained. We could get out of there quick and oh, stuff like that. I didn't okay. feel like it started raining right when we left too, but mm -hmm. I didn't feel like you know you coming in from downtown and stuff. That uh, if if it did rain, you know I didn't want to leave you in a leave you in a bad spot. But we'll make up for it. We're going to get out there. All right. Are there many right? up for July, James? There's one in July, and then two. There's a double uh, feature in. Uh, August. They're on the they're many, on my website. Do you have many people signed up mm -hmm. yet for July? Oh nobody. Nobody. Nobody signed up. I signed up. No one cares I signed up. <laughs> I got a few people. Yes, okay. and oh and Anne's great. She signs up. I'm glad. So happy with she signs up for everything. I'm she's great to have her in, in the classes. Uh, so and I'm sorry about yesterday. And uh, yeah, you guys all come on down. Anybody want to come all the way from uh, Lexington? Uh, you can come up plain air with us. But oh, uh, sure. <laughs> it's, a, it's an easy drive. Um, yes. Anyway. Where is it? Thanks for, uh, huh? Where is it? Where is it? The plain air. So the plain air, we just, we just had Grand Mill here in uh, Oak Brook. Oh, okay. Yeah. No worries. You know what plain air is. You don't need us. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for joining. Fantastic work. Finish them up. Put them up on the site. And, uh, you know, we'll see you, see you guys all on uh, next week. Bye Thank you. Very much. Sounds good. Thank you, Teach. Okay. All right, guys. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.